Hello everybody, how's it going today? Buddy Blackford here with the New Boston YouTube channel and we're gonna go over channel mixer adjustment in Photoshop CS6. So the channel mixer adjustment is a great way to adjust individual color channels for making an image or I mean or making an image conversion to black and white. And it's better than just going to image mode grayscale where it just makes it gray and you don't have any other adjustment to it. So let's go back. I just hit control Z. Let's go to image adjustments and then channel mixer. The first thing I want to show you is the um, grayscale conversion and how it's more advanced than just going changing it to a black and white photo. Let's go click on here down to monochrome. That's going to change it to grayscale. Now you can see when you click on that the preset goes to custom and the output channel goes to gray. Before it was on red, but now it's on gray, and that's the only one that you can pick. Now we can adjust the different um, color channels on here because pretty much color channels are different shades of gray. And we can darken or lighten up specific parts of the of the area. Since since the sky was pretty much blue and the water was blue, when I start adjusting that, the sky's gonna get really bright if I increase the blue etc like that. Now keep an eye on your total down here when you go past a hundred percent you're gonna get a little exclamation point that lets you know that you're past a hundred percent. So I can start messing with these and get a more advanced looking um, I have more control over my monochrome image my grayscale image. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you. We can hold down alt and this will change to reset. Click on that and my phone's blowing up. Jeez, I'm, I need to turn that off sometime. And <clears throat> let's uh, go over our different output channels here. So we, I picked this image because I thought it would be good to make like a sun setting kind of feel. Because what looks more cool than pretty much a sunset on the beach? So let's go ahead and keep our, I'm going to keep my output channel to red. And I'm going to move up the red a little bit. and it looks starting to look like more like a sunset going on there. Now I can try this with my other channels as well to see if there is a better looking effect. So let me reset the red. Let's go to our blue channel. Move the reds up a little bit. And you can see that when I add the blue add red to the blue channel, it turns more of like purpley and that's not what I wanted. So I'll reset. Go to the green. Let's try it in the green. And you can see it didn't work there either. So what I wanted to stick with is the reds and this gives me a nice sunset looking effect. <clears throat> now keep an eye down here to um, your totals again when you go over a hundred percent the little uh, marker will show that. we will reset and there are a couple um, presets here that help us out we've got our different filters and these all get changed to black and white and one of the main things that the channel mixer is used for is creating black and white images. So if I change this to green filter, I mean, you obviously don't see any green because it's a grayscale image now, but it has added 100% or kept 100% of the green in there. If I put this to zero, you can see the difference. Well, obviously, you can definitely see the difference there. <laughs> So let's check the other ones. So this is, you would have to put another one up to 100%. So if I put this up to 100% and then this one to zero, this is the red filter. So you can see that this part is darker. So let's just go through and look at some of them. Here's a blue. You can see how the, the grayscale image is different, different from each other. So that's green, here's orange, but you can go through these presets and get these different uh, grayscale images and pick from which one you like the best to put on to whatever you're using. So that's the channel mixer. It's good for making advanced grayscale images and just adding or subtracting some of the um, individual color channels. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. Be sure to check out buckysroom.org for more tutorials on Photoshop or check out the new Boston channel Photoshop CS6 playlist where I listed all my other tutorials. Thank you everybody and you all have a good day.